we don't have time to wait. Every moment we wait, another woman goes missing or murdered. Leah Gazan says there appears to be no end to the crisis affecting Indigenous women, girls and two-spirit people, something she says the Prime Minister has called a genocide. But the NDP critic for women and gender equality says we can't wait any longer for something to be done. Gazan says response times to reports of a missing woman are far too slow and a red dress alert, similar to an amber alert, would make a difference. 80% of children that are reported missing through Amber Alert are found. We deserve that. We deserve that care. We are sacred. We are valuable. And we deserve justice. Gazan says people continue to go missing or be murdered at an alarming rate four years after the final report of the National Inquiry. MMIWG 2S advocate Sandra Delarond says people might finally recognize the depth of the crisis once alerts start going out. In one week, uh, at the end of January, we had 10 people, 10 Indigenous women go missing. And it's like two a day. And it's very hard for families and for advocates to see that and to feel alone. Will it change the uh, circumstances? It might, you know. If we start looking more at safety measures and prevention, uh, maybe the number of alerts will go down. Uh, that's our hope. Gazan is asking the federal government provide funding to establish a red dress alert program. She says the feds announced $724.1 million for gender-based violence issues in 2020, and only 5% of that has been spent. The Office of the Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations said in an email statement that there is more to do. Addressing the calls for justice is not a linear process. Ending the crisis and getting to the root cause to ensure safety for generations to come requires ongoing work and commitment. Gazan says a red dress alert would be a tangible step for the federal government to take to end the ongoing genocide. Leanne Sanders, APTN National News, Winnipeg.